void. We distinguish ourselves based on temperament. Sanguine, choleric, melancholic, phlegmatic, and the oft-forgotten leukine. Now the human realm is different. Instead, it has gender. It appears to be a shitpost made of slime and weird expectations. It has social standards. Arbitrary order? The horror! I am inequipped to deal with such a perversion of true goodness. But, as I am dedicated to you, dear squidlings, I shall give my best attempt. Upon birth, the human infant is assigned into one of two categories depending on the size of the phallus. A small phallus is assigned female, a large phallus is assigned male. If it is medium sized, the jelly computer known as the human brain glitches horribly and the human experiences extreme confusion, often leading it to mutilate the genitals of the infant in an attempt to resolve the error in its shitty programming known as socialization. After a few years, the child realises that the nurse made a horrible mistake and this gender thing is actually just covering them in a pile of slime known as dysphoria. Eventually, this individual realises that they are non-binary and the true face of gender is revealed. I tried to capture footage, but the camera turned itself off every time I tried, so I'm going to describe it. Imagine Glynna, Nigel Farage and Sharon Davies merging, then imagine that that thing halfway turned into an iguana. Then the half iguana mated one with one of the turf posts that JK Rowling accidentally likes and that's what it looks like. Anyway, what I'm saying is that gender is fucking confusing and being non-binary means you have to put up with most of the slime. Meanwhile, everyone acts like you're the confusing one, when all you want to do is ascend into the void so you can watch a heartbeat on the brain without having to go rant at the Institute of Contemporary Arts. So, the NB goes through life, slowly becoming a creature of void. The NB doesn't exist when going to the toilet, when watching the telly, when filling in a form. How do you exist when everyone says that you don't? So, they stare into gender. They stare and stare and stare. What is gender? What is their gender? How does gender interact with them? Are they naturally like this or is it because of society? Lady Athene, goddess of wisdom and philosophy, allow the wisdom of Socrates to flow through me and answer my questions. Or not Socrates, or, but a nerd who actually appreciated books. Lady Dionysus, god of ecstasy and the trans, how do I find my truth, my expression? Depending on their personality, they read philosophy, Judith Butler, Julia Serrano, C.N. Lester, Juno Dawson. They watch YouTube videos, Ash Hardell, Queer as Cat, ContraPoints, Alex Bertie, Riley J. Dennis, Cat Black, learn, learn, learn. Why is gender like this? If gender is made by society, why do they feel the need to make a new construct? If gender is innate, why does gender vary so much across cultures? The more you know, the more you are confused. Maybe what makes you your gender is living as your gender. But what does it mean to live as a social role that isn't recognised? Does it mean being androgynous? But there are non-androgynous NBs. But aside from the matter of metaphysical gender, there is still dysphoria, hell. Find someone who will give them a referral to the gender clinic. Wait, 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 wait some more. Try to convince the clinic that they are real and valid. Wait, wait, wait. Go on Twitter, block the turfs. Argue with the true scum even though they know they're wasting their time. Have a couple of identity crises, stamp non-binary headcanons on every single character they can find an excuse for, and some that they can't. Find a single trickle of canonical representation and wrap themselves in it. Do they want hormone treatment? Well, the idea of some changes are 
be good, but others make them feel even worse. Can the science nerds research ways of having a non-binary transition? Then go back into the world. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, which door do they go in because you're neither and you really need to defecate? Which box do you tick? And then they lie down on their bed and stare at their old dinosaur book. Dinosaurs are a non-binary culture after all. What else can they be? They like E. Chi, the bat dinosaur. Gender is a nightmare, but at least dinosaurs are cool.